Hey -o, it's Plan B today back in KSP, and we are building a MUN spaceport today. Uh, the idea behind this was to get a station up into the orbit of the MUN uh, that's going to have a reserve of fuel for us to use if we need to stop off and refuel, uh, be it that we're going to maybe Minmus or beyond. Um, this station is built in two sections the main habitation and science bit which is the uh, the cross of the t up there on the top and then this large fuel tank and they are actually connected with a dock and port senior um, they're going to be separated there and then brought back together in the orbit of the mun um, the idea behind this like i said just kind of get some fuel up there in the moon orbit and uh, kind of create a little mini series of go into the mun and beyond maybe to minmus so the next idea is to first off i have to fill up this the fuel tank that's attached to this because i had to ship it empty as it weighed far too much for me to get up into orbit and then attached so i ended up shipping it empty so we're gonna have to come back and fill it up and then actually use it for uh, perhaps a mun landing um, or an ssto it depends how spicy i'm feeling um, just a quick reminder, if you guys enjoy these videos, I'd love a like or a comment, uh, just hearing what you guys liked or didn't. Uh, if you really enjoy these videos, please feel free to subscribe, I'm going to be trying to make more content like this um, more regularly. It's been a little while since my last KSP full-blown video, so right now I'm doing these just more for the fun, uh, but it seems that a lot of people actually quite enjoy these, so I'm hoping to get onto a bit more of a regular idea with those. Uh, this is the launch of that habitation section, the main T, uh, fairly standard launch. We just get it up and slowly gravity turn, and then eventually once we, we get to an apoapsis that we like, we continue to burn and create a circularization, and then we head towards the MUN. Very simple, very straightforward, don't need to go too far in depth with that. Um, if you guys enjoy these videos as well, please feel free. I created a Discord if you guys wanted to join that. I love trying to have interactions with the people who watch my videos and just get input from them. Uh, I also have my Twitter for you guys to keep up to date on what projects I'm working on next, be it in KSP or whatever other game that I might do. Also been trying to think about maybe streaming on YouTube. I used to stream on Twitch, but that didn't go terribly well, so maybe that's kind of more up in the air. Um, but yeah, right now we are we have a course towards the moon directly. It's a, it's a crash course currently, and I did that to get rid of, of that that first stage down there. Uh, have that crash directly into the mun. Uh, I will be doing a mid course correction burn for this section because obviously we don't want this to hit the mun and explode. So that should be coming up about now, and it's just going to get us into a, a fairly low, I, th I believe it's like 60,000 meters uh, in orbit, and uh, this bit I'm going to park into the, the MUN and connect the second bit to it, so this kind of dictates how far we are going to have it uh, floating above the MUN. Uh, we go for a equatorial orbit similar to that. My idea for this bit was also to kind of mimic the spaceport that they plan on putting on the actual MUN for the Artemis program, except for that is going to have a largely eccentric orbit as well as a polar one, meaning that it goes, you know, across the poles instead of along the equator, um, which I wish I had done that because as you'll see in a moment, this bit here is actually manned, which makes it very easy. Uh, this is me modifying that rocket for the, the fuel tank. Uh, this section is unmanned, it's got a probe on it, and unfortunately in this game, probes need uh, direct contact with the KSP to function, and I forgot about that, so trying to get this to connect with that, the habitational bit, as it was going around the equator of the MUN, every time it would pass behind the MUN, where it was blocked uh, from actually being able to send its radio waves over to Kerbin, I would lose control of it, so it did make the docking process a pain in the ass. Uh, here we are, sending it off again. Fairly straightforward, same as the one that we just did before, except for this one has four boosters instead of two, and a slightly uh, longer tug stage, that second stage. 
um, but other than that, fairly straightforward gravity turn as well, and then get it into a circular orbit and then shoot it off to the moon. I believe I do the same thing again as well, where I go for a, it looks like it, an intercept of the Mun just to be able to actually destroy that um, first stage. And then there should be another mid-course correction closer to the Mun itself to then pull us off of that, that uh, interception and into a line that will let us circularize like that one. There we go. Um, another thing that was a pain with this section of it is I did not put enough RCS fuel in this section. Here I am just opening up everything. I would have created an action group because I, 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 I was just too lazy to, so I did it all manually. Um, yeah, I wish I put more RCS fuel in here as it did kind of create an issue and actually had to end up using the habitation bit to finally dock it as I ran out of fuel in this bit. Um, but that's jumping ahead. Here we are, we get within about 250 meters of the, uh, the habitation module. It, I did have to fight for, with it for a long while. Um, I cut it just to, just to avoid the pain of having to watch it. But at this point it's fairly straightforward. We just slowly head towards it and then slow down and then head towards it and slow down. Um, once you've seen docking once, you've seen it a hundred times. should be cutting over to, I actually ended up having to use this section here for its RCS to get it closer and make the final dock as I was running extraordinarily low on this fuel tank here. But then eventually we get it close enough where I can just turn on the attraction force of those uh, dock and port seniors and have it pull itself over to there. It was, uh, this was such a battle. I, I probably farted around with this for about 15 minutes just to try to get it here. But here we are finally close enough using RCS to try to keep us there and then turn on that attraction force to have it finally dock. And it wobbles, and then it wobbles, and then it wobbles, and then it finally docks. And I got it in the orientation that I wanted as well with that T section, the habitation section in line with those solar panels. So all is hunky dory. Um, I get it turned around, detach that lower tug and then use RCS. Now that's all connected, we have more fuel to push it away from there and then get it into its final park in orientation. So here we are with the space station put together. Like I said, unfortunately that fuel tank is empty, so we're gonna have to come back up in the next video and fill it up. But we're just gonna go on a nice little EVA and inspect it all. The two Coppola modules, as well as the two uh, hitchhiker storage, then the uh, mobile s science processing unit and then also one of those uh, mark 3 command modules right there just to route it off and then we have the Apollo style command module that is docked between the habitation and the fuel tank that houses all of our electronics um, the probe core for that fuel tank and everything like that these radiators here were kind of more just aesthetic uh, they don't really serve a whole lot because we don't create any heat nor are we close enough to the sun to need to radiate heat But I thought it looked cool uh, Canonically it kind of just fit for the whole thing for me uh, Same with these outriggers structures on the actual fuel tank and then the ladder was more of just a head cannon type deal uh, But we are coming up to the end of it. So if you guys enjoyed this, please like subscribe uh, join the discord or Twitter Follow me on Twitter if you guys want, and I uh, would just let you bask in the glory that is this space station.